Hello and welcome to a really exciting vlog. It is our Sacramento road trip vlog. We did the same thing last year if you remember and it was such a good time that we thought we'd do it again. We're going down to the Sacramento Tattoo Convention. This time we are staying more localized to the downtown area which I'm really excited about because last time we stayed further out so that we had a pet friendly Airbnb. The first order of business is going to be finishing packing. My nails look like absolute garbage. I started taking them off and ran out of acetone. Fun for me. So I had to go to Target and now I've run out of time to even go get my nails done. So yeah, anyway, let's get to packing. I noticed that a lot of the things that I have packed all have their tags on them still because I bought all of those cider clothes to bring on this trip. I got a new hat. I'm excited to show you guys. This is my vitamins. <laughs> I thought the Lemon Island would be perfect for a California trip, so that will be the fragrance. And then, of course, my Tom Ford Soleil Neige, which is the shimmering body oil, and this has such a lovely fragrance to it. I'm going to have to throw in one more just because I need to be able to change up my fragrance. I have a couple of pair of sunglasses coming, and then I have some driving sunglasses, and then I also, over on the couch, have my outfit laid out for tomorrow, and I'm going to be wearing my little Fendi sunglasses, which I'll show you in the morning. I have dog walking attire. I'm so glad I'm finally going to be wearing my Roberto Cavalli t-shirt, tank tops, and jean sh dresses, and shorts, and yeah keeping it super light. All right, well at this point I'm just babbling. I'm going to look for some things and pack and keep packing. I'm not sure when I'll see you next. It could be tomorrow. If I think to pick up the camera again, I will, but otherwise I'll see you guys in the morning when we're leaving. Here is the outfit. This is that adorable little blue peri, I would call it periwinkle blue maybe. So cozy. I'm so comfortable. My husband said I looked really cute in it. That's always a win when he compliments my outfit and I love it and I'm not even wearing a bra and I'm a double D boob so <laughs> not wearing a bra to travel is goals. Rest stop number one. <laughs> we already have to pee. Doing good. I like these seat belts because they can still move around back there which is great look what I put together I was gonna show you guys this at the house but then we kind of ran out I hope they make it I cut some of my roses from my garden little gift basket for Marcy and Lyle's dad I brought them some soap just because everybody needs some slate apothecary soap and then I brought some of the mascara that I had in my store. I don't think I've ever given her any. And then it's the best lip balm you'll ever have. I tossed in a little YSL uh, lipstick and then we have chocolates too to add to the basket. I just thought I would bring her a little gift, you know, just because, why not? We have arrived. Oh my God, there was like two accidents on the road couple of scary situations that definitely felt my heart in my butt. It was terrifying. <laughs> but we made it to our family's house and I'm about to go out into the garden because my husband's dad has some pretty amazing flowers and he's watering the tomato plants right now and I wanted to run out there and catch some footage. We just had dinner, so full, and brownies and it was so good. <laughs> Neat. Where was that one? Right there. Oh, oh, that, see, I never even saw them up close. That's neat, huh? Oh, oh my gosh. It's like a gosh, flower with like water on it. <laughs> yeah. It's just starting to bud. Isn't that neat though? I love it. It's like I'm obsessed with macro lens and flowers right now. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Uh, uh. <laughs> Who's that? Good morning. Already did my hair though. So I've been into these braids because the hair that I have in the front is always really frizzy. And so braiding it into my hair 
it just makes it like not <laughs> so this has been the look just kind of unintentionally boho but i love it and the hat just like seals it you know what i mean here's the outfit you'd think they were hot and that this wouldn't work in 90 degree weather we'll see but they're so light Wait, they're not heavy at all. We found out that my nephew has this book reading where family can guest guest read to the class and it's all through Zoom. My stepmother-in-law was supposed to do it and she asked Lyle if he would surprise our nephew and read to the class. So I'm gonna film it. Hi everyone. <laughs> This is Chu here, he's a little panda. It is Chu's first day of school. Chu is very nervous. He hopes the other boys and girls will be nice. Will they like him? What will happen at school today? Pretty nice book. Yes. Fancy? Oh. We are on the road. We have left or well, we're leaving Oregon. We are heading towards California, stopping for gas. I forget that in Oregon they have to pump your gas for you. It's such a like you forget. It's so handy when you're um, not wanting to get out of your car, <laughs> but it's a little weird because you're like, dude. We should be in Redding, California, within the next two hours. I tried driving for a little bit, but then we were going over a, like a pass and I started to have like really bad anxiety and I can feel like my heart beat in my throat. I think the problem is, is that I haven't been like driving very much. I used to drive every day for work and then ever since I've started working from home, I don't as much. So now I have like really bad driving anxiety and that's so weird because I never used to have that. I used to be able to drive anywhere. Anyway, here he comes. All right, I have my tea. It's gonna make me have to pay again. Check it out. Look at behind me. Shiest. That is such a big mountain. It's a big skiing area out here, apparently. We stopped for coffee and I had to pee. Here is the outfit of the day. I feel so cute. This is that Roberto Cavalli shirt that had the tag still on, but I thrifted it from the real real little harness. I don't remember where I got this skirt from. And then some sandals, a little hat. Put my hair in braids because I just, honestly, it's so hot here that like, I don't even want my hair down. Uh, we are about to go get some breakfast and head out of here. I'm so incredibly appreciative of the Raposas for letting us stay in their lovely home. And uh, yeah, we took them for a nice little morning walk. And now we're just kind of taking our time to get to Sacramento because you have to wait till three to check in. We've got time to kill. We both got up at 6 a.m. We're gonna go get some like really delicious organic pressed juices. This is a uh, mushroom vegan Reuben wrap. And then I got a beet juice, apple carrot and ginger and it's so good. PP stop number one. <laughs> We're in right like near Chico, California, which is where some of my husband's friends live actually, but passing through. This is a really quick stay in Reading, so I didn't get a whole lot of footage of anything because we literally got in really late, or late-ish, like at four or five o'clock and then had just enough time to just stretch our legs for a second, let the dogs out, settle in, and then we went and saw some friends at a tattoo shop, said hello. Before you know it, it was like eight o'clock at night. <laughs> it was just like, where did the day go? It was all driving. So we got some in and out. We were exhausted. 
and went to bed and then got up and left. So it really, Reading was just a pit stop as a place to sleep. We didn't really get to see too many people because we didn't like want to go out. It's just different when you don't drink, you know? Because we were just saying like before you would be like, we're gonna go to this bar, meet us there. And we'd like, you know, stay and hang out with everybody and then probably be hung over right now. We're just not like doing that anymore. So anyway, but it was really cool because actually at the tattoo shop, uh, one of my husband's friends who tattoos there is a year sober. And so it was cool to see and talk about, I, cause I could talk about sobriety forever. And it was just cool to talk to him for a while about like how he's feeling and like how, you feel like such an outsider when you're sober. Cause like everybody drinks. These little YSL lips are really good. I wish they were just a little more sheer cause I was going for this like balmy chapsticky vibe and I just haven't found the exact product that I'm looking for. But these are good cause they taste like Fruit Loops. The little YSL lippies. Pretty good, pretty good. Here comes the husband. We've made it! Oh my gosh, we are right downtown. <laughs> you're gonna be like smack dab in the middle of the city. This is the Autograph Hotel Citizen Autograph Hotel. Quaint, cute, and tiny. Perfect, perfect size little spot. Ooh, a nice mirror. See my outfit. Perfection. Oh look, the, the light's a hand. That's neat. And the bed looks nice and big and cozy. I just need to get the air cranking in here. I like it cold, so we're gonna get her down to a 69. <laughs> Love it, Lila's parking the car right now. And then we're gonna take them actually for a quick little stroll downtown. This is the Capitol Building of California. So this is where the, the governor of California works. It's so cool. America. So the Stanford Mansion, I really want to go in here when it's open. 10 to 5. Maybe we'll have to do this one tomorrow. And it's where the governor typically works other than the Capitol building. It's like their main place. Look at it. Oh, it's such a beautiful building. I would love to get some photos in here. Oh, look at the stairs. Wow. You gotta give Sacramento some credit. It's got some really beautiful structures. I'm walking to get dinner. He's back with the dogs. We tried to leave and not take them and they barked and <laughs> we didn't want to be those annoying people. But I'm just walking through Sacramento to go get dinner at a place called Brasserie. Ooh, pretty. Got our phony Negronis. Chicken and gnocchi, right? Yeah. Mm. And the babies are being so good, I don't want to jinx it. Getting some morning coffee from a local place. Really try not to do anything that's not local. So this is our hotel right here on the other side. All right, it was a little busy at the coffee shop, so I couldn't like, I didn't want to pan the room because it was like families. But look at this freaking donut. Peanut butter and jelly. And then this is a cinnamon apple muffin. I also grabbed a vanilla cinnamon honey drip coffee. They do the drip coffee slow style like they uh, did in that place in Port Townsend, which I'm really into right now. And we've got the golf game on if you can hear people talking. And then I grabbed this because our neighbors are being so kind to pick up our mail that we're bringing back a little care package. Uh, and I thought, everybody likes coffee, so. Uh, room service arrived. You lift the butter. Did you just, did you just lick that? I think you it's all over your face. You just face planted. <laughs> oh, 
tomato on the vine. <gasps> mm, and sourdough looks so good. Aha, I've never actually turned it on. Here's the outfit of the day. I'm just wearing a kind of mini dress from H&M and then a scotch and soda, really lightweight shirt in case I get cold. Did a light makeup look with the Anastasia Sultry palette. And I'm wearing the Sephora color that I got in my Christmas box that I surprisingly absolutely love so much. Rebecca Minkoff Espadrille sandals. Hopefully they don't hurt my feet too much because I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. Hoping these are okay. Back from his tattoo, number two. We're going to the tea. Shoot, I can't remember the name of it. Whoa, it's a tea place that has specialty looking teas and salads. Looks really bomb, and we're gonna go meet his childhood friend and wife. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> Good boys and girls. We are back from our little outing with our buddies. That was such a good time. We had so much fun. We laughed and we laughed some more. We had some really delicious sparkling teas. I got the blackberry lemonade, I think it was, and then he got the ginger something or other. Uh, I'm gonna get up, we're gonna go do coffee and a walk with the dogs, and then I'm going to try to make it to the Goodwill. Heading to the Goodwill walking down whatever street this is. Looks like there's some sort of a festival. Tomorrow we get up and go to Ashland. So Ashland will be another hopefully spot where we can thrift. Get some things done that I wanna do. His thing's tattooing. I like to get tattooed as well, but obviously thrifting is more my uh, current hobby. Wow, look at all those motorcycles. Holy shit. <laughs> So many bikes, oh my God, so many people. I love this row of palm trees. It just goes on forever. Spotted flower garden. Oh my God, I'm gonna need to come over here. Oh, well look at that. It's got the quaintest tree outside. Yay. These dressing rooms are so nice. I'm blown away with how lovely this Goodwill is. I just talked about how comfortable these shoes are in the store because I was complimented on them and now they're hurting really bad. <laughs> but we've been doing so much walking and I've been trying to wear cute shoes. My feet are killing me. But look, 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 I got stuff from the thrift store. I think if we come back here for next year, we might try the Hyatt or somewhere like that that has a pool. <laughs> we got a little lunch. Oh, oh yes, that's plenty of food. Perfect. All right, we'll change the plan. I was gonna uh, sit here and do nothing, but I just got an invite to head down to the hotel lobby bar and they said it's okay if the dogs come. Anyway, I'm gonna go meet a friend. It is actually another person that my husband grew up with. Small world when there's that motorcycle convention, so that sound is happening all day long. Uh, anyway, I need to go meet her, so I'm gonna gear up these sleeping babes. Last evening. What? <laughs> doing this. Oh, I look scary. I am doing the honey coat. If I move too much, I'm gonna drop my towel in front of this window. I'm doing the Honey Potion Plus Hydrating Mask with Ceramides by Pharmacy. Can you see it? Mama, Anna? There it goes. So that's what I have on. I've never done this before, so. A little hydration. Since I've been wearing so much SPF, we went to dinner with a group of friends. It was 
six of us total. Went to a little Mexican restaurant in the middle of the square that we're across from, so it was really close. Tomorrow we're off to Ashland. I cannot wait. Hopefully we'll stop off at the gardens on the way out of town, because I have some garden pants that would look really cool in that garden. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. Just kidding. <laughs> the time has come for us to finally pack up and go. Our little home in Sacramento has done us well, except for all of the people screaming bloody murder all night last night. <laughs> Who was on the corner, but somebody was very loud for very, very long. I have on just like BB cream today because last night I did a moisture mask and I feel like I've just been wearing full coverage foundation this whole time. I kind of regret it. I wish I had just worn like really lightweight SPF and hydrating moisturizer type cream instead of that like Charlotte Tilbury. It's great for if you live in the PNW and it's cold and you know, mattified faces look good. But this is the kind of weather where this just looks more natural on the skin and I'll be wearing this the rest of the time. I also did faux freckles. I'm wearing floral pants from Cider, some sandals, a little Tory Birch belt. I'm actually wearing two Cider pieces of clothing. And then accessories galore and my straw hat that I've been loving because it really helps keep the sun out of my eyes. Okay, we did it. We made it to the park with the flowers. I finally get to go look at these rose gardens. I'm so pumped. It's 8.50 in the morning, early birds catch the cool weather in Sacramento. But look how dreamy, what a beautiful day. I cannot wait to see these flowers. Wow. Yeah, we were yeah the on the, day. basically the wrong side. <laughs> Cause this is all the woodland side. So beautiful. Ah, oh, heaven. Of course I find the flowers, of course. Look. Oh, it's glorious. Popping in a treats, natural pet market. <laughs> We're in Redding again. No, this isn't a Marvin thing. This is this is well, it is, but it's not meant for him to have any fun. We're just gonna grab some dog food. We kind of started to run out of um, the topper that we put on their kibble, so we're getting more of that. And then we're gonna go meet a friend uh, that is a tattoo artist here in uh, Redding and get some coffee and some lunch. And it's breaking up our trip. So we're heading to Ashland, Oregon after this. And it is smack dab in the middle, Redding is. So on the way up, we thought, stop for lunch, visit a friend, have some coffee and some lunch at a lovely place that I found that's called Theory Coffee Roasters. And it looks amazing. And it's pet friendly, has a little outdoor area. So we're gonna go do that. This is our hotel. What is up there? Because I want to know. Well, look at the lovely rolling hills outside of our adorable hotel room. <gasps> look at how cute this spot is. Oh my gosh. This is the experience I was going for. I don't know about you. <gasps> look at the pressed flowers. Oh, it's so adorable. We got the corner spot, so we have two windows on either side. Oh my God, it's so nice. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, this is so, look at that. He's trying to get on the bed <laughs> so he can look out the window and bark. Careful Marvin, do, do not jump off of this bed. I love the decorations of this hotel. It is so, so cute. Look at the downtown. I wish we were here for two nights. Oh, I haven't shown your tattoos. Let's show them. Nice. And then the second. Nice. A little angry. A little angry. A little, I always get angry around the ankle. It's a little swollen, huh? Number three. And then number three. 
Wow. No angry also, huh? Yeah, you know, it, I don't think it is. I don't think it looks like it. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm officially in love with Ashland, Oregon. So from what I understand, there is a waterfront river of just restaurants and shops, and that's our plan for dinner. I am just blown away with how cute this hotel is. I actually need to get little pictures of it before we make it filthy, because we're gonna explode our luggage and things all over the place. They have continental breakfast, so we're gonna get to get up in the morning and go get breakfast here. <laughs> like I matched the hotel. So I think this town is known for its Shakespeare <laughs> because this is a little outdoor theater and stage. And our hotel is right over that little building right there. This is downtown. And then over here is the park and all the little shops and restaurants. This is the other side of the river. This is a whole different ball game of people watching comparatively to Sacramento. <laughs> when I was looking on this same corner, the liquor store that we were across from and all of the riffraff hanging out here, doing up to no good. And then this, it's a whole different vibe in Ashland. <laughs> we're trying to get the city off the dogs because they have been walking around Sacramento so much. We need to bathe them. Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> We got to see the sunrise over these mountains and it was just as magical as you can imagine. I am dressed in my final lookbook outfit. No more after this because we're going on beach walks and I will be in yoga pants and sneakers for the rest of the trip till we get home. <laughs> I'm wearing this leather skirt, that top that I thrifted that had the tag on still and the cowboy boots. Nice. The cutest bed and breakfast you ever did see. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that's it for Ashland. That was just one nice little stay, and we got the most out of what we could. All the shops were closed, which is a little sad. I would have liked to have like hit up some vintage spots, but we got here right when everything closes, and we're leaving right before everything opens. <laughs> but we did find a tea store here that serves kava, and now we're both just obsessed with kava and its calming abilities. And so we are, he's running to grab some really quick. And we've checked out of our hotel. We went for a little morning walk and that's it. <laughs> now we're heading to my dad's pretty much. And then the vacation's over. We're, we're nearing the end. The only footage I wanted to get left of this trip was walking on the beach with my family. I think that would be a good finale to a very friends and family full weekend. Are these crooked on me or is it? Every time I put on glasses, they're crooked. So I'm thinking it's my ears, which is like, do I have to get the glasses adjusted for my crooked ears? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Bella. Where's your kitty? This is my dad's music room. Well, it's a crossover. Just hook the speakers in and then out out to in from the receiver out or you just plug directly in. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes directly in. Yeah, we can lay this stuff down and put our stuff on top. It'll fit. Oh, there. I was turning up the wrong one. Four feet on the stripes in the Alabama highway. Out there in the open, just a wishing a hoping. I could smell the pines when I let you in the doorway. Took the seat next to mine like you've been there. 